Right. My name is uh, Sylvie Hampton and I'm an independent tissue viability nurse consultant. And my remit is huge, so I won't go through it here and bore everybody with it. But uh, I've been in wound care now for 30 years, so it gives you an idea of what my role is. We're here today to talk about malodor and clinisorb and its role in dealing with that malodor. The wound's generally not the patient's problem. I know that sounds silly because everybody thinks that it, it's a problem, but if you cut your finger and it doesn't hurt, then it doesn't bother you. And it's the same even with chronic wounds. Um, if there's no pain, no smell, no discharge, then the wound doesn't bother you. But if you've got pain or you've got odour, then it's a terrible situation for you. These things are fairly simple to deal with as the cause is mainly due to either colonization of bacteria or clinical infection that's causing the malodor. A clinical infection would require antibiotics. There's absolutely nothing we can do about that as nurses. Whereas a colonization would require the removal of bacteria by cleansing with antibacterial fluid and with use of appropriate dressings. And activated carbon is very good for removal of bacteria. Malodorous wounds can have serious consequences. There is the sort of um, psychological side uh, where somebody is terrified to go on a bus, as one of my patients were, terrified to go on a bus because of the smell and didn't want people sitting next to her to feel that it was um, awful sitting next to her. And of course, there are all the other things, you know, prevention of intimacy with partners and anxiety and nurses experiencing feels, feelings of nausea if they have to deal with the wound and the embarrassment that will cause the patient. The wound may never disappear if you've got a, a poor wound, but you can still improve the patient's quality of life. Now, any necrosis in a wound, any dead tissue will have a high potential for anaerobic bacteria colonization. And anaerobes hate oxygen, so they will always happily inhabit, inhabit the necrotic tissue and are one of the major causes of malodor, along with something called putrescin and cadaverin, which we'll talk about in a minute. The green fluid is pseudomonas. And this also has a powerful odour of its own. And you can walk into a, a nursing home or somebody's home and you know somebody's got pseudomonas and that needs to be dealt with. Putrescin, as I said, I would come back to and cadaverin are enzymes and they break down in a wound with dead tissue. And they break that dead tissue down and they form these fatty acids and the fatty acids have a terrible odour. And you combine that with the anaerobic bacteria, which also has a terrible smell, um, there will be an awful wound to deal with um, in that case. So imagine the odour that these two wounds produce and the embarrassment for the individual patient and the distress of relatives who actually care for them it must be absolutely dreadful. And I just don't know how you would actually cope with it yourself. This particular lady had an awful and distressing malodor that actually affected her quality of life. And the removal of the necrotic tissue will reduce malodor. In the meantime, while that removal of necrotic tissue is occurring, you need a dressing that will um, hide the smell for this particular lady. And clinisor um, activated carbon is placed for just that. And eventually, that will go away, that smell. So let's hide it for the minute. And we're going to see this lady talking about how her wound um, interfered with her quality of life. The pain was absolutely tremendous. A horrible discharge and smell went with it. It has gradually improved with lovely treatment I have been having, very efficient treatment, but my whole quality of life was completely destroyed as I was a very active person and I'm just beginning to start my walking now. So you can see in that particular case how well her wound actually did. Um, it's now granulating, doing really well, 
and there is no smell at all in it. But while that had the necrotic tissue, there was a lot of smell. So control of malodor is fairly simplistic. Removal of necrotic tissue will remove the putrescin, cadaverin and any anaerobes. And absorptive dressing, such as um, clinisorb, will soak up the bacteria with the wound exudate. And when the dressing is removed, the bacteria will be removed, leaving less bacteria on the wound. And the activated charcoal in clinisorb will electrostatically attract the volatile fatty acids. It will absorb them and it will prevent odour from escaping. And the nice thing about activated charcoal is that it's used on things like soldiers' uniforms because we know that it um, prevents bacterial contamination and chemical um, in contamination. So odour is a truly elusive thing. And the quantity of vapour that is barely perceptible as odour is called the odour threshold. And it requires about 10 times that concentration. So if you can just smell it, you, you know that it's on the odour threshold. And it requires 10 times that concentration to give a definite sensation of odour. And then again, there would be another tenfold increase before the odour is considered strong. So you can imagine that malodor is a very strong indication of a problem that needs to be dealt with. So absorption, adsorption is not a method of disposal. It means of odor collection leading to disposal. And that way malodor is controlled. And the use of activated charcoal in control of odor can be very efficient. And it works by removing contaminants before releasing the gases into the atmosphere so that you don't get that odour. And clinisorb dressing is an activated charcoal, which is exactly what we need in the case of malodor. Now, this is um, clinisorb, and you can see there's lots of layers as well as the activated charcoal cloth. And it's designed to trap the volatile fatty acids as well as some, uh, you know, soaking up uh, a lot of the fluid. So clinisorb, it's 75% relative humidity, it's still effective and adsorbs significantly more odour than its competitors, which is quite something. And you can see here how it actually works. It's very cost effective and certainly worth consideration as a part of our toolbox in wound care. So in conclusion, clinisorb will actively control malodour, will absorb fluid, and bacteria, and this will improve quality of life for all of our patients. Thank you very much for listening.